Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 16th tutorial in this course. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the Boolean data type in PHP. So I've got a file opened up in my text editor. This one's called booleans.php. And uh, in this file, I have the opening PHP tag on line number six, the closing PHP tag on line number 13. And then I have some uh, PHP code about which we're going to talk. But let's first understand what a Boolean data type value is. So the Boolean data type allows you to have only two values. The first one's true and the other one's false. And you have to use the text true and false explicitly, right? So on line number seven in this file, I have uh, created a variable called var1 and uh, I have assigned to it a true value. And on line number eight, I have created a, another variable. This one's called var2. And uh, to this, I have assigned the value false. And you could type this text in uppercase or lowercase doesn't make it dif doesn't make any difference, but I prefer typing, uh, you know, the Boolean values in lowercase. So how are these two values of use to us? Now they might not make much sense at the moment, but later on in this course, when we're going to talk about selection constructs like if and if else, it's going to be extremely critical for us to have a good understanding of the Boolean data type. Now, if suppose you have uh, a few variables in your file and you want to find out whether the values in those variables belong to the Boolean data type or not. In other words, you want to find out whether you have a true value in your variables or you have a false value. There is a function in PHP that allows you to make that check and that function is called is underscore bool. So just the way we had uh, is numeric, is float and is int to you know run checks on numbers, you can run checks on um, variables to find out whether they have Boolean value or not by using the function is underscore bool. So I've got uh, an echo statement on line number nine. I first uh, displayed the text is bool question mark a space and I've used the concatenation operator and I've typed in the name of the function that we have to use that is is underscore bool and within parentheses I've typed in uh, the name of uh, the variable var1, right? So I've passed var1 as an argument to this function to check whether the value in var1 is uh, of Boolean data type or not. And uh, of course the output of this function is going to be uh, one because uh, it does indeed have a, a boolean value and uh, another thing is that if you simply echo out values of uh, boolean variables then if the value that's present in the variable is true you would see one in the output and if it's false then uh, you would see nothing right so on line number 11 i have uh, an echo statement in which i have uh, simply displayed the value of uh, the variable var2 and since var2 contains uh, false value, I'm going, I'm going to see nothing after the text variable two in the output. And uh, since the variable var one contains true value, I'm going to see one after I see the text var one, sorry, variable one, right? So now let's check out the output of this file. I'll go to my browser and I'll type in localhost. And then the name of the file, as I said, is booleans.php. When I press the enter key, I see that the variable var1 is indeed of uh, boolean type that's why i see one in the output here and then the variable two which has a false value um, i don't see any text here right so after the colon i don't see anything which means that the variable uh, variable two or var2 has a false value and then since var1 has a true in it i see one here right so that's it for now. I'm going to see you in the next video in which we're going to talk about uh, more concepts in PHP. And I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. You may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.